Welcome to Soil Shepherd's Regenerative Landscaping video, where we dive into all things Enothera, which is commonly known as evening primrose or sundrop. I'm going to start by looking at a design example. This area gets at least six hours of direct sun with average well-drained soil. In the middle of the island is a bird feeder, so I wanted to use small, non-woody perennials so squirrels are not able to climb the plants to get to the bird seed. There are four plants, including Enothera fruticosa at the bottom, Coryopsis verticillata, or world tick seed at the back left, Escipsia verticillata, or butterfly weed, which is out of sight to the back right, and Shalone glabra, or turtle heads to the right. Turtle heads prefer moist conditions, but once established, they can handle dry conditions, so they are doing very well in this spot. Next, I want to share my favorite parts of this design along with opportunities. My favorite part is that the design works as intended. Squirrels are not able to climb the perennials and all the plants are thriving. This area also does a great job spanning the seasons. The sun drops start to bloom in the late spring and continue blooming into the summer when they are joined by the tick seed and milkweed. In the fall, the turtle heads bloom and the leaves of the sun drop turn red providing multiple seasons of interest. The one opportunity with this area is that sun drops tend to fall over, then grow upwards. You can see this happening at the bottom of the photo. As a result, when planted closely, closely to the edge, they will fall into the border. It doesn't bother me because I prefer a more natural look, but worth noting if you like tidy borders. Okay, enough about design. If you are enjoying this video, please click like and subscribe while I get back on track by sharing the three reasons why this is one of my favorite perennials outside of its, its great looks. The first reason is all the life it supports, including hummingbirds, birds, and butterflies that are attracted to the nectar, along with the songbirds that eat the seeds. In the Northeast, there are 18 species that use E. nithera as a caterpillar host plant, including the primrose flower moth. The second reason is deer and rabbits tend to stay away along with diseases. The third and last reason is low maintenance. Divide perennials every four to five years to keep them looking great. So, with over 93 North American species, how do you select the right variety for you? First, I looked for native E. nithera in the Northeast where I live, which immediately narrowed down the 93 North American species to 17. Next, I looked in local nurseries and online nurseries to see which varieties were available for purchase, including seeds. There are several weedy or aggressive species that are not readily available, so this left me with five varieties. At this point, the last three criteria will be based on your preferences and the needs of your garden. First, do you have a preference between annual, biennial, or perennial? All three options are available in the Northeast. The second consideration is flower color. Your options are white to pink nighttime blooms or yellow daytime blooms. The last consideration is plant height. Some species stay short and are better suited for the front of the border, while other varieties are taller and better suited in the back. Now, you have everything you need to find a variety that will work in your garden. Thank you for watching. I hope we helped you find a new native variety to try in your garden. Until next time, happy gardening.